Hey, welcome back to the channel. To the channel today, we're going to do a quick overview of shapes and and how they work and things that we can do. So we've got a beautiful triangle, a rectangle, and a circle on the screen. And if we place the triangle over top of the rectangle and the circle on top, we see that they're ordered with the circle in the front and the triangle in the back. We can arrange by right clicking and sliding down to arrange and arrange to front or bring to front, which will bring the triangle to the front. Another way to do this is under our layers palette, you can see here we have the circle, the square, and the triangle. And by moving those, you can see whatever one is on top will appear first. It's kind of like a deck of cards or a stack of photos on a table. Whatever one's on the top is what you see first. The alignment tools are handy for aligning elements so we can justify everything on the left, the right, or down the middle, similar to what we can do with text. We can also duplicate objects, not just shapes, by using the Alt key and dragging. With our object selected, let's try another tool where we can reflect an object by going down to transfer. We can preview it and make a copy. We can transfer again and rotate. This time we'll rotate 90 degrees, but I won't make a copy. It'll just rotate the object that I have selected. Now that I have a number of objects selected, We'll use the Align tool by selecting one object and under Distribution, we'll distribute those and separate them, in this case, by 17 pixels. This is very handy for spacing out elements to be the exact same distance. Another thing we can do with shapes is we can combine them together. So here I have a rectangle and a circle. I've slightly overlapped them and we'll look at the Pathfinder tools. If they're not in your toolbar on the right-hand side, you can go under Window and down to Pathfinder. There's a couple standard ones, Unite, unites them together. And here I'm pressing Control Z to undo. You can subtract, so it'll take the top object or top shape and subtract it from the bottom shape. This one here takes the part that's in common and this one here eliminates the part that's in common. Another thing that we can do with shapes is use a Shape Builder tool to combine elements. By dragging through, you can see there I combined the circle, that part of the circle, and the rectangle together. If you hold down the Alt key and click, or you could click and drag, you can also subtract elements. You can also click and just drag to combine elements together. So here we have a funky shape that is all now one object, not four different shapes. And now looking at some text, when the text is underlined, it is editable to be able to change but it's text. In order to be able to change it graphically, you need to right click and create outlines. And right now everything's grouped together. So if we right click and ungroup, we can now click on each individual letter and move it around. And this is with the black arrow. If we grab the white arrow, we can select certain anchor points and change how the object looks. So here we can stretch out the top of the T. We can also grab one anchor point and drag to change the shape of a letter. We could select the entire object, and here we've rounded the corners. And here I just selected one anchor point and rounded, or two anchor points and rounded the corners. Hope you enjoyed this video on the overview of shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.